Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we're gonna be dividing a one, two, three, four, five, five digit number by a, t a two digit number. My little helper right here is trying to get me the marker. <laughs> there we go. Hey, we're ready to rock and roll. Hey, thanks a lot for joining us today. Um, we got a very big number that we're gonna be dividing, but don't worry, we're gonna take it step by step. Easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. All right, let's get started. Uh, when I deal with a big number like this, sometimes it might be helpful to take a piece of paper and cover up some of those numbers. Then that way it doesn't look too threatening, um, makes it easier to work with. Also, I'm gonna be working with the number 25 and I gotta figure out how many times can I put 25? I can't put it into six, can I? I have to say, how many times can I put 25 into 65? Now, like on my other videos, I was talking about this number here. and It's 25, that's like a quarter. So if you have one quarter, that's 25 cents. If you have two quarters, that's 50 cents. And if I have three quarters, that's 75 cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that down real quick. So 25 times two is 50. And then 25 and three would be 75. And of course, 25 and four would be 100. Our best guess of putting 25 and 65, what do you think it is? That's right, it would probably be about 50. So let's put a two right here. We're gonna multiply, that's our next step in our process. So we're gonna take two times 25 would be 50. So I put the 50 right there. And now I'm gonna subtract. So I'm gonna move this paper out of the way a little bit and put my line down here and go ahead and subtract. So five minus zero, five. Six minus five, uno, one. All right. So now I'm gonna be working with this number here. I'm gonna bring this down, drop it down, drop it down. That's all you have to do. Is I can't put 25 into 15 anymore. I gotta start working with the, the next number. So I put a three right here. All right. So. How many times can I put 25 into 153? Well, when I take a look at 153, it kind of rounded, and it looks like a dollar 50 cents, doesn't it? So I know I can put four quarters is 100, and two quarters would be 50. So I think if I did 25 times six, six times five is 30, carry the three, six times two is 12, 13, 14, 15. This would probably be the best uh, guess getting it closest to 153. So let's go ahead and put the six right here. So six times 25 would be 150. Put that right here. Next step, subtract. Three minus zero, uno, dos, tres, three. Five minus five, zero. One minus one, zero. Don't have to put the zeros there. All right, what's our next step? Drop it down. Well, we have to take this piece of paper out of here to figure out what numbers we have to drop down, don't we? It's the seven, so bring it down. You can add those sound effects if you want to. All right, there's no copyright on those sound effects. 37. All right, let's take a look here. Do I have anything close to 37? 25 times two is 50. Nope, too high. Bring it down, just plain 25. We can only put 25 into 37 one time. Univest. So we have one times 25 is 25. Subtract it. Th this problem is getting huge, isn't it? That's, don't worry, we're almost getting done here. Seven minus five, five, six, seven. Be two right here. Three minus two, uno. All right. So can I put 25 into 12? Nope, can't do it, can we? Next step, bring it down, drop it down. Drop it down, drop it down. <laughs> Little beatboxing for you. All right, we got 122. How many times can I put 25 into 122? Let's take a look. Do I have anything close here? We got 25 times four is 100. 20, uh, 25 times five would be 125. Too high. Bring it down. I think four is going to be our best choice. So we put four right here. Four times 25 is 100. Right here, subtract it. We got a two and a two, double two, 22. 
Can I put 25 into 22? No, you can't. You cannot do it. That is going to be our remainder. We don't have any more numbers to drop down. We are at the end of our number. So we have a remainder. We'll put an R right here. Remainder of 22. So our answer is 2,614, remainder 22. You ready to do just one more? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right, welcome back. Okay. Um, wow. A lot of numbers, all right? We're taking a one, two, three, four, five digit number. We're dividing it against a two digit number. But don't worry. If you want to, you can cover these numbers up like you would be covering up some kind of creepy little spider. But I think we could deal with this today. Now, a little trick what I do sometimes, I know I'm going to be working with 32 quite a bit. So on the side, just in the beginning, I might start just doing a little bit of figuring. So I might go like this. I might go 32. All right, can you see me there? 32 times 2, that'd be 4. 2 times 3 is 6. All right, now I'm going to do another one. 32 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. Now let's do a couple more here. 32 times 4. 4 times 2, 8. Don't be late. 4 times 3, 12. I don't know. Uh, 12, so I, I don't know what rhymes with 12. Uh, let's, let's do the five here. 32 times five. Five times two, 10. Carry that one. Five times three, 15. Add the one, 16. So that's 160. Um, I can always add a couple more, but do you get the idea? I kind of do just a couple problems to, you know, just get an idea. And this is all about estimation. It's trying to get your closest guess all right, so let's get started here. Now, if I round 32 to 30, and I round 97 maybe to like 100 or 90 or something like that, let's see how many times. I bet 30 could, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 <laughs> getting tongue-tied. 32 can probably go into 97. I would guess maybe three times. I don't know about four, but let's try three. 32 times three, 96. Whoa, hit that one right on the head, didn't I? So. I'm gonna put three right here. This is what we're doing right here, just kind of letting you know. We're gonna be multiplying. Our next step is we're gonna put three. Three times 32, 96, right here, right here. Get a close up on, on that, 96. So I put 96 right here. And now our next step, subtraction. All right, 97 minus 96, seven minus six is one. Now what do we do? We bring the next number down, all right? We bring that next number down, four, all right? Drop it down, just drop it down. I, I, see, I see what you're doing. You're, you're, like, you're starting to do it like this here, because 32, can I put 32 into 14? You can't do it. You could try, you could just step on it and try to squeeze it in there, but it's not gonna work, is it? Just, oh, what do we do? It's, no, don't go home, don't go home, don't go, don't go out, outside and go get some popcorn yet. All right, the party's not started yet. What we do is we take a zero. When we can't put that in there, we're gonna do a zero, all right? Put a zero right here. Now, if I took zero times 32, what would that be? Remember back in the old days when you were learning multiplication? Uh, zero times two is zero, zero times five is zero, zero times one million, zillion, billion, billion is zero. Same thing, zero times 32, zero. So I'm just gonna show you a little background here. If I took th zero times 32, that would be zero, and then I would have 14 when I do the subtraction. Do you see what I'm talking about? And then you would drop down the next number. All right, and you would drop down this eight right here. That's the process of what we're doing, but you don't need to do this part here. All right, don't do all that. All right, got a little marker on my hand, but don't worry. Okay, so you just put the zero here and then you just drop the next number down. Drop it down, drop it down. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. It's optional if you wanna do a little beatboxing right now. All right, so now we have 148. Now I can deal with that. I know I can put 32 in 148. Do I have anything close here? Uh, 32 times four is 128. 32 times five is 160. Whoa, ho, ho, too much. Bring it down. I think we're gonna be doing, dealing with 32 times four. See how easy it is when you write down all these little problems and they're kind of neat? You can use this. You can put that on your scratch paper too. 
All right, 32 times 4. So put 4 right here. 4 times 32, 128. All right, what do we do? We do subtraction. 8 minus 8, zip, 0, nothing. Go to the next one here. 4, oh, it looks like a 6. Got to be neat when you're doing math and max. Come on now. Got to be neat. Let's don't get sloppy on this. All right, 4 minus 2, 2, uno dos. All right, can I put 32 into 20? No, I can't. Is that gonna be my remainder? No, we still got one more number to work with, the four. Don't put the four out the door, bring it down, break it down. No, this is the time you can do a little beatboxing. Bring the four down, bring the four down, bring the four down. Your teacher's probably like, come on, get the lesson going on. All right, all right, all right, I will. 32. How many times can I put that into 204? Do I have anything here? No. All right, I got 160. I'm guessing I could probably put a little bit more in there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take 32 right now, and I'm going to times it times 6. So this times, 6 times 2 is 12. Put the 1 up here. 6 times 3, 18. Plus the 1, 19. We're getting close. I don't think I could squeeze uh, 32. I'll just show you. I don't think I can do 32 times 7. All right, it would be 14, sometimes three is 21, 22, too high, too high. We're, hey, we're getting close to that popcorn party, all right? We just got a little more work. We're gonna be using this problem here. Let's use the six, pick up sticks. All right, here, put the six right here. Six times 32, 192. All right, you can tell I'm getting happy because I'm gonna be going to have my little popcorn party too. All right, do your subtraction. 4 minus 2, uno dos, 2. All right. And uh, got somebody vacuuming uh, out there. So uh, if you hear that sound, that's what it is, the vacuum cleaner. 20 minus 19. You could do all that, that bargaining. You know what 20 minus 19. If you're doing problems like this, you know what 20, 20 minus 19 is. Yes, it is uno, 12. Can I put 32 into 12? Is there another number to bring down? Are we done? <laughs> yes, I, just gotta, I don't forget to put that remainder. Is that is a remainder, that's what's left over. That's like if you go to a party and you got leftover popcorn, that's the remainder and that goes in my tummy right there. Remainder of 12, we did it! Little high five there if you can high, do a fist bump right there. Yeah, you did it, you did it. Hey, I'm so proud of you. Hey. If you get a chance, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Maybe tell your friends about my channel. I know they would love it here. And like always, I want you to have a fun day. Adios. Goodbye.